Welcome back everyone to the Xamarin Show, Snack Pack Edition. I'm your host, James Montemagno, and today we're gonna take a look at how to properly upgrade the Android support libraries for your Xamarin and Xamarin Forms applications. Now, I've talked a little bit about Android SDKs, emulators, and I've also talked a little bit about the Xamarin support libraries for Android. In the world of Android, there's essentially all these new features that you want to add into older versions of your app and support older devices. So the Android support libraries are essential for that, and Xamarin has bindings and NuGet packages for all of those. Now, what's important about the support libraries is that as Android comes out with new versions, the Android support libraries follow a very specific naming scheme. So if you're targeting package 23 or 24 or 25 of the support libraries as the major number, that essentially is the compile version of what your Android application should be compiled against. And I'll show you what that means in a second here. So what I want to do today is take an existing Xamarin or Xamarin Forms application specifically here and take a look at what was installed, kind of file new or maybe an older um, um, a project that you may be looking to upgrade and what you actually need to install and how you can install those packages today. So let's hop over to Visual Studio 2017 and let's take a look at upgrading those. So here's this monkey application which I showed in a previous Snack Pack episode that I converted to .NET standard library. It's a beautiful application that shows a beautiful Tamarin monkey here inside of a circle. So this application when I go into the Solution Explorer is a .NET standard library, Android, iOS, and Windows 10. Now specifically on Android, when I right clicked and I went into manage, manage NuGet packages, I had a bunch of things installed like image circles and Xamarin Forms, for instance here, and a bunch of these support libraries. In fact, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them installed. Now that may seem like a lot, but they're all really small. And in fact, in the newer versions are even smaller. But these are doing things such as card views, recycler view, and app compat, separate components that are added inside of here. Now when I go into updates, we're gonna notice that there's a lot of updates going on. And in fact, the current version that I have installed is version 23.3, and the newest version is 25.3.1 as of recording this today. Now this is specific saying that this was compiled and should be targeted against Android API 23, and here this is 25. So let's say I come in and add App Compat, which is probably the largest one that has the most dependencies here. And if I hit uh, Update, what we're gonna see down here in the NuGet package window is, oh, it can't do it, and there's some warnings here. And it's saying that um, your target here is, is, is 6.0, uh, but it should be, uh, 7.1, and in fact, when I come into the output of the NuGet package manager, it says it's not actually compatible here. And this is because I am targeting my specific project against version 6.0 of Android, which is API 23. So if I actually come in here into Xamarin Forms, let's take a look here, and what we can see is when I click on Xamarin Forms, and I go into the, um, where's the, the, the packages here? Oh, here we go, down at the bottom, the dependencies, we can see specifically for Xamarin Android, if I am targeting 1.0 and above, then I am able to install version 23. If I am targeting version 7 and above, I'm able to install 23 and above. So since right now I'm targeting 6.0, I can't install the newer version, so let's fix that. When I right click on my properties here, under application, we're gonna see compile using Android version. And here I've installed Android 7.0 and 7.1. So I can go ahead and save that. When I go into my Android manifest, I can make sure that I target and say, hey, I also want to target NuGet 25. So this is really important. So compile here under application, the saying, use the latest and greatest version. And I can validate that's, that's there or at any time just by looking at the CS proj. So if I say edit CS proj, we can see that the target version is set to 7.1 right here. So let's go ahead and reload this project. There we go. And now what I can do is I can say manage NuGet packages. Now at this point, I still have my eight updates available. So what I'm gonna do is now tap on app compat and simply say update. And now we can see actually right here that the version is 7.1. It says, hey, I need to install all of these new support libraries that have been upgraded and split apart. 
It's now going to go up to NuGet and download and remove any of the support libraries that were currently there. Now this project, uh, this process also may modify the existing CS project structure, so it may add or remove different of these import things inside of it. So it may take a few seconds to go through and update these, and you may even have to restart Visual Studio. In fact, here we go. It says that some things we're not maybe able to uninstall, so restart Visual Studio to do it. But let's first update the additional packages that are in here. So there's a card view. We can go ahead and update that to the latest version. Here we'll go ahead and accept the license. And additionally, just for good measure, we're going to make sure that we come in and update the other packages in here. So everything is up here with the support packages to 25.3.1. There's additional package that's inside of here, which is the Xamarin build download step, which is an optimized step to actually uh, download the required packages for the support libraries. So now that everything's been installed, let's go ahead and restart Visual Studio really quick. There we go. This will go ahead and prepare my new solution. What I always like to do just before I go any further is validate inside of my packages.config all the packages that were installed. Now, when I went to the NuGet package manager, I saw that everything was installed to 25.3.1, but you can always validate that here by saying, yes, there's 25.3.1, 25.3.1, those are everywhere. Make sure you do, that you don't have any mismatch versions that are going on there because it could cause some build issues. So what I'm going to do now is clean. It's really important. I always clean all my projects and then simply sit rebuild. What this will do is it'll restore and download any of the existing packages that you may need for your actual Android project. Now, if for some reason you run into an issue, such as your file name is too long, make sure that you put your project in somewhere short. Mine is in uh, C slash code, for instance, um, because on Windows you may run into like a, a very long name uh, for some of these support packages. As you can see, some of them are very long. Um, but here what it's going to do is it's going to go through, it's going to download any existing packages that I may need to download, uh, and then it'll just finish up the compilation. I additionally note that it was really important that I cleaned it first and then rebuild. That way it'll delete any of the cache that may be in your bin or OBJ file uh, folders that are in there in this cache of kind of um, build times. So there we go. Just like that, everything has now been compiled up and ready to go. Now one additional step before we get out of here is I went into properties. And you noted that I had all these different compile versions available. Now, if for some reason you don't have them and you're only seeing Marshmallow, which may have been the default that you had, you're like, I really need to get 7.0. How do I do that? Well, I have a Snack Pack episode of how to get those. But what's important is that you click on this Android SDK Manager, and it opens up here. I always deselect everything first. And when you come in, you're going to see Android API 25 or 24. And all you need to do is install the SDK platform to do that. There you have it. Now you can rebuild up your application, compile it, and deploy it, and you're ready to go. And just like that, in just a few minutes, we've gone from an older um, uh, support libraries for Android and the Xamarin application. Could be Xamarin Forms, could be Xamarin Native with just a, a normal Xamarin Android application. The same process applies. Go into your application settings, retarget, and simply update. And just like that, your application is ready to consume the latest and greatest, pa greatest packages that are targeting and using those new support package libraries. There you have it. Until next time, I'm James Montemagno, and this has been The Xamarin Show.